a packed house in Tiger Stadium. Where else would you rather be in prime time on a Saturday evening here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana? Well, the Sun Belt comes calling. Georgia State's in town. The six win Panthers facing off against LSU for the first time ever this evening. And it's already rocking. Nathan Divert will kick things away. Tyleek Williams back deep to receive. Transfer to Georgia State. Empty backfield on first down. Just underway in the quick toss to Robert Lewis, leading receiver. Shoved out short of the 30. That's a gain of about five. Four-man front movement. And perhaps a free play for Grangel. Sling it downfield and caught on the back shoulder in traffic by Lewis. Great job with the hard snap count. And then a great catch on the... It's a gain of 31. Georgia State in business. Fake the handoff. Jet sweep goes to Tyleek Williams. And another part of the quick screen game. Results in another first down. With Thompson again grabbing his second reception. And man coverage with Robert Lewis. Bottom of the screen. They'll head towards the bunch. And a quick toss results in more positive yards on first down. Carroll shifts back into backfield. Granger wants to throw it again. Surveys, throws it, touchdown! And the Panthers strike first. Tyleek Williams into the end zone. Hey, and then able to put it in the end zone. It's just a little crosser. Greg Penn, the linebacker, tries. Well, we are seeing a couple of weird scores popping up around the country late tonight. Inside give ahead to the 29, and that's it. Quickly, it's third down after a four-yard gain. Daniels accounted for over 600 total yards a week ago against Florida. He'll buy some time flush to his right, and this is where he's so dangerous. Cuts it back, picks up the first down. Mike Denbrock calling plays. They've been riding a bit of a heater. Pressure, Daniels escapes again. There he goes, Daniels into the open field. Slippery would be an understatement for Jaden Daniels, 34 yards on first down there. The pocket collapses. I think one of Jaden Daniels' underrated skills, his ability to maneuver in the pocket, just avoids the rush. And then it's just about a little move. Tigers rank 15th, the dump off. Mason Taylor plunging ahead across the 30. Boy, 133 teams out there. I mean, good, good gracious. And his team's one of them. Out in the flats, Lacey. Karam's out of bounds inside the 20. It's a first down for the Tigers and an eight-yard gain. Lacey, Neighbors, and Thomas, the receivers. Fake it to Kane on the slant. There it is, and a touchdown. Malik Neighbors crossing the goal line from 18 yards out. An explosive start. Six minutes in for both sides. It's off coverage. He's just able to get inside after he turns the defensive back. Pips. It's not the perfect throw, but Neighbors has great hands. Able to get in the end zone. Bayou Bengals answer. Taking a little deeper into his bag of tricks with the formations. Granger takes off the opposite way. Penalty marker comes in. Granger stopped at the line to gain. A lot of times that flag in the area of holding, and we'll see. Carroll the running back on third and long. Straight up the gut. Upend it near the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. Gain of seven, Omar Spates. Kate Loggins will punt it away for Georgia State. Low line drive fielded by the up back cleanly near the 20. Brought down at the 47. To pass a Bo Nix, who is phenomenal, a Michael Penix, who's playing right now, to win it. Josh Williams over the left side after the holding penalty on Miles Frazier. Could be the final play of the quarter. Second and goal from around the 15. Daniels wants to take off, and he does with real estate. And a touchdown! My God, he makes it look so easy. The, the most impressive thing, there's not a lot of room up the middle here, and Jaden Daniels just manages it. And then when he sees a little daylight, the acceleration, Vinzi all dives. You had Ty G. Leach dive for him. But just the acceleration in the hole. And he's getting after folks. But I think we were looking forward to that interview after the first quarter all week, knowing we were going to touch base with him there. Here's Marcus Carroll. 
He's going to rumble for another big play for the Panthers into LSU territory. From the 43. Granger off the back foot. Nothing doing and no gain on the play. May have lost a yard, Taylor. But Georgia State's got to figure out something there to get Marcus Carroll involved. Williams in motion. Georgia State just 2.3 yards per rush. Before this play, you asked for it. Marcus Carroll delivers for the touchdown. Well, they spread it out in the center. Avery Reese gets a nice block. Amon Green, my guy, inserting up the middle, goes up to the linebacker, and then there's nobody there. Jackson remains the running back. Daniels wants to throw it after Hilton checked out. Back the other way. That's a first down. Malik Neighbors running. There he goes. Into Georgia State territory. Gain of 33. He always has a plan after he catches the ball for the run after the catch. It's a great route. And five yards of separation on a stop route. That's insane. To hold up that LSU wide receiver standard he does on a daily basis. Lacey motioned in on second and short. Caleb Jackson straight ahead. That's enough for a first down on ESPN2. Out of the timeout, second and short. Daniels fires another strike for another touchdown. Lacey corrals it. And the Tigers back in front. It's a really nice job of Kyron Lacey bending it inside the safety. You get a two safety look, so the gap is in the middle. What a seed thrown by Jaden Daniels. Right on the face mask of Lacey. Fights it just a little bit, but brings it in for the touchdown. See if he comes or if he stays back. Granger flush. Granger floats it. Pass caught by Carroll. That's a chain mover ahead to the 45. Strike. Drive continues for the Panthers. Well, the scramble. Watch out Perkins on the left side of your screen. He's going to move outside of Mark. Can't wait for it. Kevin Connors, thank you. Back to live action. Thomas breaking open. Holds it in. Thomas tripped up. But it's still a touchdown for the Tigers. For Brian Thomas Jr. Just straight speed from Brian Thomas. Runs right by the corner. Bright Bright East Brown. Question is, does he maintain control at, until he passes the goal line? It is an absolute yes. Are those knees off the ground? It is an absolute. Moved to six and one with a road win at Louisiana. Different story since then. Granger straight ahead and not this time. Timeout. And look at Jordan Jefferson in the middle of your screen. He just runs right over the center, Avery Reese. And that's why. Penalty moves it to the Georgia State 40. Daniels retreats and fires another strike. Lacey has it. It'll be first and goal inside the 10. Kyron Lacey having a big night. Beautiful throw by Jaden Daniels leading Lacey up the field. And then how about Malik Neighbors doing a little bit of a... Jaden Daniels sitting on five already. Daniels surveys wide open for the touchdown. And that time it was too easy. Lacey, his second score of the night. And you want to talk about another laser beam. I mean, he's got next level arm strength. It feels like at times when he lets it loose. Yeah, and he doesn't always have to have a perfect platform, but that time does a nice job of resetting. And Kyron Lacey just puts Bryquise Brown in the matrix. Hey, I'm going left. No, I'm going right. It's a catch. We want you to enjoy the, the credit to the Panthers that quieted this crowd to start tonight after they jumped out to a 7 0 advantage. And across the right side ahead to the 29 is Caleb Jackson, Taylor McGregor. He's inching closer to that mark. Now it's 65 yards on the ground. This time the pump fake will add to that total with a cut. Daniels slides in safely the 26. It, it's, it's really pick your poison. You, you drop eight, see if you can get everything covered. And even though you've got eyes on the quarterback, that's what they wanted to do. Still results in a five-yard gain. Across the right side, Noah Kane. Spun down inside the five. It'll be first and goal. Daniels rolls out wide open for the touchdown. He's got five scoring strikes on the night. Mac Markway, his first touchdown grab of the season.
if you can choose two ways to go about it, one is getting your running back a touchdown. What could have been there? Yeah. Daniels put up good numbers. The defense faltered in Oxford. Ranger flush. And is going to be sacked back at the 31. A trio of defenders. And movement. Looked like Carroll kind of shifted in the backfield for a moment Play unexpectedly. Offense. Instead, they took too much time. Second down. Pass to the end zone, sailed incomplete to Lewis in the second quarter. Granger wanted to take off. He is met with resistance. And the sack by Savion Jones. Spinning back towards the line of scrimmage as he's pursuing the quarterback, sees that hole, and gets the fourth down stop. Would be incomplete and total agreement with what I said. Run the option with Granger. A nifty move at the end. Brought down at the 40, a gain of 14. That's a first down. Power look, Daniels under center. Noah Kane right behind him. They'll push him across. And did he get there? Waiting for the official indication. Didn't need much on first and goal. Daniels with one rushing touchdown already tonight. Make it two! That took about 10 seconds. You know, tonight he's not going to get to nine, most likely. Are you sure? <laughs> I am not. I would anticipate, though, that he's not going to play anymore in this game. And with time, Daniels well, over the top of that initial wave of defenders to Malik Neighbors. And enough for a first down. That's a tough catch on the sideline, but he does that a million times. Jaden Daniels, a little hole shot between the safety and the corner. Neighbors, two for good measure. Hey, look, here's what you're going to get at the next level. A pretty good night at the office when you have three wideouts all over 100 yards receiving. A lot of time left to play. Caleb Jackson. He also was a standout performer in the track department coming out of high school. Fourth in the state in the 100 meters. Play action. Daniels heaves one long. And it is caught for the touchdown. Neighbors again. The deep sauce from 40 yards out. This is one on one with the safety and it's just it's just easy. It's unfair. He goes outside or inside then outside and a little stem. Perhaps new quarterback on the field. Colasurdo. And the handoff goes nowhere to Cradle Taylor. Colasurdo is going to take off. And the Georgia State backup signal caller tiptoes out of bounds. It, to me, the winner of the Pac-12 between those two quarterbacks could be in position here. How about a deep ball completed all the way down to the 16? Nice job down the field of the delivery and the reception. Jaden Daniels, a tremendous day. Eight total touchdowns. We've talked about him a ton, and yet it's still not enough because of how good he was today. Brian Kelly and his team nearly perfect offensively. A couple of holding penalties here and there being the only real blemishes.